Hi, welcome to My Allotment UK. My name is Mike. This is an addendum to week three, which is concentrating on me getting my plot ready for the autumn. But before I start, I would like to show you something that one of my fellow allotmenteers has constructed on his allotment, and that is a watering system. It's John, and I don't know if you remember. He's the one that beat me in the Onion Challenge at last year's village show. He's moved up nearer to me, he's taken a section of another allotment. But this is John's answer to the dry season that we're going through now, having to constantly water. And I thought you might find this interesting. And what's more, it gives me an idea for something similar for when I water the bed that's enclosed with an environmental frame. You've always got that problem when you water, of either watering through the enviro mesh or raising the cover so you can get in and water it. And the other thing I'd like to show you is for those that were interested in the shelf that I made for my son's home office, it's been taken down into London, he's got it fitted up and it's now working. He seems to be quite satisfied with the layout and how it, everything goes. Now. There's been a change in my routine. As you know, I don't have a car now, and I do get occasionally use of my wife's car. I'm limited for what I can carry to the allotment. So, for example, with this tidying up that I'm doing at the moment, I need my strimmer, but I can't take the petrol driven strimmer, it's far too big and dirty to go in the car, but I can take the fold up electric one, which is battery operated. Only disadvantage to that is that with the amount of strimming I've got to do, the battery doesn't last all that long. So the new regime is that when I come home on an evening off from the plot, the battery goes into charge and then next morning the first thing I do is I do as much strimming as I can do till the battery runs out and then I bring it back and it's recharged and so the process goes on. So as soon as the battery runs out, I then start doing the gardening work and the first task that I've got to do or I've done this week is strip the sweet corn in bed 11. So I've stripped all that and stacked it up and I'll then bag that and I'll try and get that back in the car. I'll try and I'll cut it down and try and get it into the into some plastic bags and then I can then grind it with the macerator that we have. Okay, so let's get started. The next thing I've got to do is tackle bay 3 and bay 3 is short of manure and I've got some in bags low down which has been there for some time rotting away but I've got this problem of getting all those weeds and stuff away because bed 3 I've just left to its own devices this season and I'm now paying the price for it so I've got a fair bit of work to do on that. But not before we've done some strimming. One battery running out.
Enviro frame moved and up, I can now start clearing bed 3. And when I finished stripping the uh, sweet corn, I just went over to bed 6 and 7 and gave them a, a hoeing over. And a bit of a tickle on bed 4. So here we go with that. And then of course there was the uh, harvesting and we'd got plenty of beetroot still. Green beans though, uh, they finished and the second uh, batch should have been ready but they weren't and I think they're short of some decent rain to swell them up. But the third batch named Speedy after three weeks from sowing are doing quite well. Quick tour to record the end of week three of September. Well I hope you enjoyed that and if you did a thumbs up would be nice and uh, if you've not already done so please subscribe and do comment, I do like your comments and uh, if you want notification of further uploads then ring that bell and it just takes me now to say to you Thanks for watching, take care of yourself and bye.